Welcome back! So I eventually settled on doing Blazing Flizzard. What exactly is the Flizzard? I'm gonna go with Frilled Lizard. Kinda like one of those bastards from Jurassic Park. You know what I'm talking about. So, just some generic teleport out text. And uh, we're going out to look at the uh, New Arcadian base. This is part of those sabotage New Arcadian missions y'all was talking about. A strong energy reading detected. They are building a huge missile outside the base. The base must be here to support the construction. Analyzing our route to the missile factory will take quite a while. Zero, what should we do? Alright, I'll buy us some time by attacking the base. Start your analysis. So that's the missile base in the background. Eventually we're going to have to go there, but not right now. And we have these cannon enemies. They were somewhat related to some of the enemies from, I believe, Zero One. I think a couple might have showed up in Zero Two, but cannot be positive. They shoot really low cannonballs that bounce along the ground. Kind of remind me of an enemy from Metal Slug. And that was the cyberspace door a little way back there. You're going to see a couple over the course of this level. I'm pretty sure there's two in this one. And we have some pit enemies because everybody fucking loves pit enemies. Except me! I find it really cheap when they make enemies pop out of pits. Because if you jump at the wrong time, you get sent right into the fucking pit. Still, it is kind of a cool idea, I guess. Oh, that was close. Uh, yeah, the weapons don't do quite as much damage as they used to. The enemies are a lot more resistant. It's part of the whole, uh, you starting off with everything fully upgraded thing. Like, the enemies take more hits to uh, go down, even though you start off with fully upgraded gear. Essentially, your weapons aren't as powerful, but uh, you don't have to worry about upgrading them. So, yeah, whatever works for you. And, uh, yeah, that lava thing a little while back, you have to jump before it goes all the way down, otherwise you're going to get sent back into the spikes. Oh boy, speed section! Hey! 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 Hola! Bitches! And whores! Yeah, it's kind of like uh, Fethnir's level from Zero Two. You have to get through really quick. Those platforms gradually sink down, and if you're on them when that happens, you're fucked. This level isn't really all that hard, but uh, there's a lot of instant kills all over the place, so you have to be really careful about that. The level itself, pretty easy, you know, not really anything too difficult. It's the fact that you have to be careful about dying from one-hit kills, like spikes all over the place or all the lava. And that's the recoil rod in action. It sends objects flying across like that. Kind of like a reverse version of the chain rod, really. See, in the previous games, that would have killed something, like one shot. But no, not in Zero Three. Because everything's stronger. And now it's time for a little bit of mini boss. We have 30 seconds to take out a bunch of these things. These things kind of remind me of those starfish enemies from, uh, I believe it was Sonic 2. You know what I'm talking about, they were in that industrial area. If you wait around, they would shoot off spikes from every single one of their arms. That's basically what these things do. If you leave them alone, they'll shoot off spikes in each of the four directions. And that's how that works. And if the clock hits zero, you die, so you have to constantly take those things out. After you kill a certain number, I'm guessing it's like 10, 15, 20, something like that. Probably some random number like that. They'll uh, go down and whatever. Okay, so we should be getting near the boss right now. Flamethrowers. And here's that object I pushed over. The reason why I pushed it twice, if you don't push it twice, it'll be right there, and you'd have to jump up through that in order to get, grab onto the ladder, and you'll probably die in the process. Again, rank thing, and I don't know, I felt it would be more appropriate to pick it up during the level instead of coming back later, because I'm probably going to do my backtracking all in one shot, like after I do probably the next level, so any objects that were inside that container, I'd have to do without. Oh boy, time for a really tricky section. Bitches and 
force. All right. You got to be really rhythmic about that. I kind of like those sections because they're challenging, but uh, at the same time, I fucking hate them because one little fuck up and you're dead. But it looks so badass when you actually pull it off properly. Okay, let's go see that blizzard. Oh shit, I didn't charge. I almost gave up on finding a foe worthy of fighting me. You look like you might at least be a minor challenge. I'm gonna enjoy this, Zero. Transform. See ya! Get ready for Blazing Flizzard, one of Wild's numbers. Let's hit it up, Zero! Can you smell what the Zero is cooking? Okay, Blazing Flizzard. Blazing Flizzard. He's got a flamethrower. His attacks are all very much fire elemental. You just gotta be really careful about when you're doing this. And keep using charge slashes. You can also run up and uh, oh, that was close, but risk worth it. Okay, yeah, take that, you bitch. Who are you to put out my flames? Lord Wild will get you, though. Make no mistake, he'll cover the whole world in flames. You'll see. You can't put out the flames of our new world. Some people just want to watch the world burn. Siarg. Is he a pirate now? Whatever. Bitch dead. Bitch so fucking dead. Okay, perfect score on the mission. Took way too long. And took a couple hits too many. But hey, it's still an A rank. And a pretty solid air, I get that. You got the flame body chip. You captured the X skill of Blazing Flizzard. You got the burst shot. The burst shot is the same thing that we got from Fefnir in zero in uh, zero two. And the body chip, the way this works, this game doesn't have a form system. However, it has an armor system. You could equip different pieces of armor, and the chips this time are called body chips. And they're not just elemental chips sometimes. You get, like, different forms, and, uh, they all do, like, different things. The flame body chip makes your attacks fire elemental. But there's another body chip that does another interesting little thing. And we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Let's take a look through here. Picked up a couple cyber elves. Some energy crystals. Or cyber elves. Nothing too important yet. I think they're withholding those until like another level or two before we get anything too useful. Okay, so that's Blazing Flizzard. I believe the next level I'm going to tackle is Deathman... Deathmansk Mantisk. It's some kind of weird fucking accented name. And uh, yeah, he's going to be non-elemental, but the flame chip will really help me out here. And it'll get us our first sub-tank, so it all works out really well for me. Alright, so see you then.